It is a relic from a bygone era. This airplane's a 1948L16B. Now, 76 years later, she's as good as the day she first flew in Korea. They call in artillery missions, search and rescue. And it was Saturday. I said, no problem. She would fly on yet another search and rescue mission at the request of the Dinwiddie County Sheriff's Office. Asked me if um, I could uh, maybe take my airplane up and just do a brief search of the area of Route 40 uh, in between Blackstone and McKinney. It was that area where searchers believed two missing women, the driver who was 101 years old and her 80-year-old passenger may be lost, the pair missing since Thursday. Jeremy Paltz says he took a common sense approach to his search. If the deputies are searching the main roads and people, they haven't called in a, a, a van sitting in their driveway, obviously the vehicle is going to be off the road somewhere a great distance. Looking down, this is what Paltz was seeing. So his slow moving plane going about 45 miles per hour, perfect for this type mission. That gives you a lot more time to look down and be able to observe the, uh, the area that you're searching or look for whatever you're looking for. Paltz has spent time in fire and rescue and law enforcement, so his thoughts they'd be well off the beaten path was correct. About an hour after being in the air. And sure enough, um, I found him in the back of a, a big, uh, look like a soybean field. While Jeremy is glad his time in the air got results, it's not exactly the outcome he wanted. What goes to my mind is I wish that, you know, we could have found, found him earlier um, due to, you know, a loss of life. That's, you know, kind of weighs heavy on me. For the sheriff's office. You know, I think it was a very selfless thing that, that he did. Jeremy's flight path was invaluable. I can honestly say that I don't think we would have found her uh, anywhere as near as soon as what we did with the assistance from he and his plane. Jeremy says while he was in the air searching for the two women and their missing van, he says all he could keep thinking was, what if this was his grandmother? Wayne Koval, CBS 6 News.